This method can help answer key questions in translational research, such as the chance to study biomarkers in patients from developing countries. The main advantage of this technique is the possibility to store blood and serum samples for at least two weeks without freezing and provide high-quality material for downstream analysis such as qPCR and ELISA. The implications of this technique extend toward diagnosis of diseases such as cancer and infectious diseases. This method can also be applied to other diagnostic or research fields like the study of prenatal diseases or the analysis of infectious pathogens such as HIV. We first had the idea for this method when we started comparing biomarkers between a Caucasian and an African case series for which frozen samples were not available. Visual demonstration of these methods is critical as the blood spotting steps are difficult to learn. In this procedure, 3 milliliters of a blood sample is collected in a 3 milliliter tube with 5.4 milligrams of EDTA. Write the patient code number on the bottom right hand corner of the saver card. Carefully resuspend the blood with a 5 milliliter pipette. Next, pipette and transfer one spot of blood onto the saver card. Using a new tip for each blood aliquot, repeat the spotting to obtain a total of 3 to 5 blood spots. Leave the dried blood spots or DBA.